It's just like when people hate on Logan Paul just for the sake of him being successful. Or KSI or Mr. Beast. You know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're a person who becomes successful, if you're a person who becomes powerful, if you're a person who becomes wealthy, people have to hate you. Because they're jealous and they hate their lives. Because they're not willing to do anything to improve their life. So they see someone on top and they have to fucking rip them apart. They have to fucking destroy them because they've got nothing else better to do. Losers. All right. And people are doing that to KSI and Logan Paul and, and Mr. Beast with their Lunchly brand. All right. But I love Logan. I love Logan because he always comes back with receipts and fucking a nice packaged compilation of evidence. All right. Because we've seen people trying to shut down Lunchly. All these fake fucking articles that people love to put out saying that Lunchly is moldy and all this shit. But let's, I want to, I want to, I specifically wanted to watch this video on my podcast to show you guys just like the length Slogan goes to. He doesn't have to do this. He doesn't have, because he knows the truth, just like we know the truth about Choney Hinchcliffe. He knows the truth about his company, about his brands, about his products. So why does he have to address the hate? He knows he doesn't have to, but he does it anyway, and he does it in such a great way. Watch. All right, this is the best one yet. According to ex-users, various retail stores have recalled Lunchly products due to FDA's concerns. The sign in the tweet reads, due to public health concerns, the FDA has recalled Lunchly products. We will restock as soon as deemed fit for consumption and ship through our warehouses. But that's so weird because FDA recalls are public by law. And as you can see, Lunchly is not on the FDA recall. (laughs) Ha ha. Right? We've all heard it. We're all like, oh, Lunchly's getting recalled because of mold or whatever. All right? I didn't even know it was all uh, 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 public information that anyone could look up. But look, we can look it up. And you know what? That's fucking, that's great. Address that fact. All right? You could go look it up right now. It's not on there. I looked it up. It's not on there. A recall list. So hold up. That means that this sign is fake. Somebody typed up and printed out a 100% lie about Lunchly being recalled, taped it to the fridge, then a picture of it was taken by someone else and posted on social media as if it were real. Losers, dude. Like, who goes to that length to fucking try to bring him down? They ju- they're just fucking scummy fucking pieces of shit, dude. People who've got nothing else better to do than to fucking destroy people who are more successful than them because they know it's going to get them views community notes where you at <laughs> anyway i had my forensics team look into it and they were able to find the exact location where this allegedly took place i love by this photo matching the tweet with the gray door handle and hell the sales yeah. labels then we crossed reference oh, the location the lengths he goes it's to fred meyer and i had someone go there boom exact match same wow. door handle, same tag same products even but hold on where is the fda recall sign also we can see the sales data after <laughs> lunchly was recalled <laughs> It wasn't, but after that sign was posted, we continued to sell out all of the lunch leaves that hit the shelves in that store. So who put that fake sign up? Turns out it was an employee named who said this when we confronted him. And I quote, that was like kind of rumorized, I guess, through around here, but we had seen a posting about that, but I was the one who had written that. But since we got Lunchly back, it's been taken down. When it comes down to the actual, like, I guess, accountability of it, it was a rumor that was up in the air. Since we had heard that the FDA whole thing was kaput, we took it down. Bullshit, dude. He's just lying through his teeth, all right, because he's scared that Logan confronted him, so he's blabbing. Yeah, it was more of like a, a, yeah, it wasn't like a, anyway. Hater or dumbass? I don't know. Both. Oh, maybe both. Oh, and I also saw this video. As of right now, it is believed that all of the lunch trees are being discontinued in various stores. Yeah, that's also not true. Turkey stackums are not discontinued. Stores are selling them as we speak, and they're also still on Kroger's website, which would be crazy for an item that's discontinued. Hey, and look, I know some people are driving up to 130 miles. By the way, Rosina Pancino used to follow you back in the day, but she's gone woke, just like everyone. Not everyone, but a lot. And she has had a hate on for Mr. Beast for many months now uh, because she claimed, I don't even remember what, but it was a bunch of bullshit. And now she's realizing the amount of views that she gets from hating on Mr. Beast. So she's doing everything she can to go against them. And so in this tweet here, she said, I drove for 130 
Drove for 130 miles to many different stores to look for the Lunchly Turkey Stackums. And she did end up buying them. And I I wish I would have watched the video, but she did a review on them or something. Anyway, she's just got a hate on for the sake of gaining views. And that's the point that I'm trying to make here is these losers. They, okay, they can't do anything to improve their life. They don't know what it takes to become successful and they're not willing to change their life to become successful. So they have to hate these big creators because they hate themselves and they hate seeing people like this be successful because they know they don't have the courage themselves to change and better their own person. So they push that negativity onto these people. And when they do that in a video response or any, or any sort of content online, it gets views because all these other haters and all these other losers in the world who can't better themselves glom onto that because they're like, hey, he's right. I don't like Logan Paul because I'm jealous of him. All right. So now that loser who couldn't figure out how to do anything in their life is starting to get views. Uh huh. Okay. So they're getting all these views. Now they feel like they're actually doing something good in their life because they're getting views and now they're making money off their content. So what do they do? They leech off the same subject. They squeeze as much hate out of it as they can. Suck, suck, succubus. All right, because it profits them, but it doesn't last forever because you can't just do that for the rest of your life. All right. And what ends up happening? The well runs dry because people move on. And so what does that succubus try to do? They try to make other content, but they can't do it because they're too miserable and they haven't bettered their lives yet. They haven't bettered themselves. They're trying to live off shitting on Logan and KSI and Mr. Beast. That's how they try to live. And it doesn't work forever. Sure, it's la sure it works right now, but that well's going to run dry. And when that well runs dry, your views are going to drop off. And when your views drop off, you're going to try to change your content. And when you try to change your content, you're going to realize it's not going to work. And when it doesn't work, you're going to fall back down to that miserable self that you always were. And still were while you were making that shit content about these guys. And what's going to happen? You're never going to, you're never going to get anywhere. It's never going to work out for you. All right. So that's why I love that Logan does this. Okay. Because as these people sit back in their chairs and push out this nonsense, these lies, this hate, People flock to it because they don't bother doing their own research and they think it's all the truth. But Logan takes every, he, he takes his time and he gathers every piece of critical evidence that he needs and he com compiles it all together nicely into a less than three minute video. He gives you everything you need to know truth wise of facts of what's actually happening. And I, that's, that's why I wanted to show this because it's so amazing and well done I want to be one of the people who's actually critically thinking about this and using common sense okay I'm not just going to hate Logan Paul because he's a successful person look at what he's doing just actually look at what he's doing you can't deny that he deserves what he has now it's just a fine lunch sleep, but please be patient as we try to ramp up production to meet the demand. But it's just crazy to me that we're a $4 lunch kit, and in the first four weeks, our headquarters had a bomb threat. The FBI has identified the individual. He's based in London, which is crazy because we don't even distribute there. A fabricated FDA recall that never happened. An attention-hungry little clout goblin who has made it her entire identity to speak negatively on all things Mr. Beast. And we'd love to think this is all just a coincidence, but it's a nah, we call him Cap. The fact is, the USDA inspects every finished food lot and approves it before even leaving our facility. And yes, it's possible 
possible that issues happen in transit, like a seal breaking or at the store level with rough handling. But just like any produce you buy, problems can arise. And our retail partners are great. They'll offer a full refund. And we are happy to assist anyone at any time if you email our customer service. But at the end of the day, the product speaks for itself. In our first five weeks in Kroger, we've already outsold Lunchables and comparable SKUs that also sell drinks inside. We're gonna keep innovating and improving our product as we attempt to disrupt this archaic industry that's been run by the same corporate giants for the past 120 years. It is a new era and the ops are gonna have to try harder. <laughs> Watch this full episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast by clicking the link in bio.